If you grew up watching Iron Man, you've probably wanted your own Jarvis, a computer that doesn't just sit there, but actually interacts with you and moves with you. Well, at CES 2026, I found something that feels like the first real step toward that reality. This is the CyboPal 1, the world's first active tracking AI robotic monitor. I partnered with CyboPal to bring you this first look, and I have to say seeing this thing in person is totally wild. It immediately reminded me of those Tony Stark holographic setups. I do want to be clear up front that what I'm showing you today is an early prototype. It's a demonstration of what this machine will be capable of when it launches later this year. But even in the early stage, it felt like having a personal robot on my desk. I got a chance to sit down with the founder, Frederick Payne, to understand why we need a robotic monitor. He made a really interesting point that I hadn't thought about. Think about your desktop. Over the last decade, everything's evolved. Our PCs are faster. Our keyboards are mechanical. Our mice are ergonomic. But the monitor, it's just static. It sits there. Because the monitor doesn't move, you're forced to move. You end up hunching over leaning in to crane your neck. The human has to adapt to the machine, and Frederick's vision is the exact opposite. He wants to create tools that use AI and robotics to meet you where you are. The goal is an experience that is efficient, healthy, and comfortable, where the technology adapts to your body, not the other way around. So how does it actually work? The CyboPal 1 features a 24-inch 4K display mounted on a six-axis robotic arm. It uses a multimodal input system involving cameras on the base and the top of the bezel to track you. In the demo that I tried, they had this really cool preset system. By holding up different numbers to the camera, the monitor would spring into action. If I held up a specific number, it would jump to one of four preset scenarios, and then I could give it a thumbs up, and it would micro-adjust to align perfectly with my face. They're working on even more advanced gestures for the final release, like waving your fingers to nudge the screen exactly where you want it, but my favorite scenario right now was definitely the laid back mode. We've all been there. You want to recline in your chair to watch a video or just relax, but then you can't see the screen properly, so you end up straining your neck. The CyboPal fixed that instantly. It swooped down and tilted the angle to match my recline position perfectly. This is the Jarvis level active tracking. It brings a level of care to the office space that we've never really had before. Whether you're sitting, standing, or reclining, you stay in a healthy viewing zone without even thinking about it. But movement is only half the story. Just like Jarvis, you can interact with the screen using your voice. Using AI, I was able to ask questions about the weather, check game scores, and even look up popular gadgets that have been featured at CES, all without touching a keyboard or mouse. They also showed me the gesture controls for navigation. You can literally wave your hand to move around the interface, I think for anyone who sits in front of a desk for long periods of time, I'm talking software engineers, IT professionals, finance experts, this is a game changer for ergonomics. And for gamers, the wow factor alone is huge, but being able to play for long sessions while the monitor adjusts to keep your posture correct is a massive health benefit. I first experienced CyboPal 1 at CES 2026, and it feels like a new category. It's not just an AI robotic monitor, it's a personal assistant that lives on your desk. This is definitely one to watch. They're currently preheating for an upcoming Kickstarter launch, so if you want to be one of the first to get this Jarvis-like setup, I've linked their page down below. Go give them a follow so you don't miss the launch. Thanks again to CyboPal for partnering with me on this video. That about wraps it up for this video. Thanks guys for watching, be blessed, I'll see you in the next one.